Hey there everyone, um, I said I'd be doing a review, and here it is. Um, the review, um, I know you can't really see it with my poor lighting, but it is Bully, was that a Scholarship Edition? Now, I know that this game, oh, I'm sorry, I've been listening to some uh, Lord Master Foamy lately, but um, Bully Scholarship Edition, now this game is fun. I mean, it's a great game. However, um, it really lacks in that there's a lot of freezing. Now, um, I've heard a lot of reports saying that you know there's glitches, there's frame rate issues, and freezing, and the game's terrible. Uh, well, I really didn't experience any problems until about the second chapter. And um, even that was really minor. Um, I do suggest saving a lot in this game because you're probably going to have to redo missions. Um, I did buy it. I will say that I did buy it. That copy I showed you is mine. Um, it's worth buying once they fix the patches. I'd say for right now, um, wait it off on it. Maybe rent it. Get a little bit into it. And once you send it back, if they don't have the patch up, wait for it, and then buy it. Um, the voices are great. The storyline is funny. Uh, pretty much what it is 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 a toned down version of Grand Theft Auto. It's pretty much Grand Theft Auto for school kids. Um, graphically, this game is uh, amazing. I mean, I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's in great detail graphics like Army of Two or anything like that. But it's definitely well made. Um, I know I say that, yet I say that there's major glitch problems too. So, um, I mean, it's very fun having to balance your classes because you have to go to class twice a day. Um, you have to interact with certain groups, certain cliques, which is where it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto, where in Grand Theft Auto you have gangs, and Bully you have uh, cliques. You have the greasers, the preps, the nerds, and the jocks. And then there's another group in there, the bullies, um, who you will interact with quite often. Um, it's very interesting on how they made each group. It, it reminds me a lot of high school, even though the main character is only about 15. Um, you know, it's pretty much all the stuff in high, in school that you wanted to do. You know, I mean, you're not walking around, you know, with a gun and destroying everyone in your class. So for all those psycho freaks, no. Stick to Grand Theft Auto if you want to blow people away. This game's not for you. Um, but, I mean, wedgies, egging, stink bombs, <laughs> fireworks, explosions, stuffing people into lockers, breaking into lockers. I mean, you can walk up to an authority figure pretty much say screw you and hit them and then you can either well, try to win the fight which is very rare because they usually grab you and tackle you or run like hell you know, so I mean this game has, has a lot of fun aspects it has a lot of the over the top characters like Grand Theft Auto generally has um, there is much of a great soundtrack unlike Grand Theft Auto this game doesn't have a real kick ass soundtrack I often ended up playing my own music on my 360. Um, the overall experience is extremely fun. Um, like I said, I suggest buying it as soon as they fix their problems, as soon as the patches come out for it. Um, and for all of you who've seen like pictures of the game, you don't have to stay in your, the school uniform with a shaved head like mine. You can switch his hairstyles, his hair color, you can switch his clothes. Uh, I thought that was a very nice touch. Because, I mean, you can stay in your school outfit and not get in trouble. Or you can dress how you want. I mean, you can dress preppy. Um, like, my guy has cowboy boots and cowboy hat. Which I should be wearing right now, but I'm not. Um, this is all around interesting, fun game. It's a great experience. Um, you know, if you're looking for a toned down version of Grand Theft Auto, I mean, get it. I mean, you know what? Just rent it at least. I mean, this is at least a must rent. You know, scale 1 to 10, I'm giving this game a 7.5. And that's mainly because of the patches. Now, if they put the patches in there, and once the game gets going, I would say this game's going to be an 8. But for right now, it has to be at a 7.5 because of all the patchwork, and you have to save, and then, you know, it might freeze, and you have to start over again. So... Honestly, I really do have to say 7.5 for right now. Once the patches are finished, I'll give this game an 8. Alright, people. My first game review bald. Don't expect me to be taking the hat off too 
much my videos. Um, I'm kind of actually out of game. Oh no, wait! I will be doing a game review next week for Condemned 2. That's right, the second Condemned. Just to let you guys know, I never played the first one, so don't ask me what I thought about it. But I will be doing a review for the second one, and I gotta say, I like what I'm seeing so far. Well, actually, I don't like what I see so far. That's what makes it so good. But anyways, next review.